Okay, so uh, before I begin, I'd like to just state that you may find some of the pictures from my presentation disturbing. So if you do find any of them too graphic, please feel free to look away. Uh, to start, I'd like you to imagine a scene with me. It's the day of prom. You went to bed early last night, set out your clothes, and made reservations. You hear your alarm and turn it off and roll out of bed to start the long day to come. You move into the bathroom and look in the mirror, only to see a giant red dimple right in the middle of your forehead. Acne is caused for a lot of embarrassment, as almost everyone has dealt with it at one time or another. And as teenagers, it's a problem most of us deal with daily. Though if you knew a little bit more about it, it might not be as big of a problem as you think. Uh, so that's why today I'm going to give you some information about how acne forms, the different kinds, and how you can cure and prevent it. So let me pop into my first point, uh, how acne forms. According to acneacademy.org, uh, acne occurs when sebaceous glands in your skin overproduce an oil made to lubricate and waterproof your skin and hair called sebum. This overproduction oil can be attributed to many things, including changes in hormones, uh, stress, and genetics. Um, this overproduction causes a plug to form in your follicles made of oil and dead skin cells. Made of oil and dead skin cells. Um, if this plug is on the surface of your skin, it oxidizes and becomes black or brown in color, sort of like if you cut an apple and leave it out for a while. Uh, this is typically known as, black, as a blackhead. If the plug is just under the skin, it will balloon outward and come to a head that's white in color, um, typically known as a whitehead. What can happen next is bacteria on your skin that's normally harmless can infect this plug and cause your acne to swell, become red, and be sore. Now this is how all acne starts. Though, if it becomes even more irritated, many different types can form. So now let me squeeze into my next topic, uh, the different types of acne that can form. Um, when as I said before, when plugged follicles become irritated, multiple different types uh, can form. Uh, blackheads and whiteheads are the most common types, and they're also the most mild. Though when your pores become irritated, their walls can break, leaking their contents into uh, pores nearby. This creates bigger pimples called papules and pustules. Papules are, 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 according to the American Academy of Dermatology, papules are hard skin-colored bumps underneath the skin, while pustules are yellowish in color and filled with liquid pus, kind of like the blister. Um, if the pores become even more irritated, the bugs can burrow deeper into the skin and grow larger in size. At this extreme point, the lesions are classified differently. Nodular acne are like bigger papules, meaning there are hard bumps underneath the skin, while cystic acne is um, like bigger pustules, meaning they're softer and pus filled. All of these forms of acne can leave spots and bumps in your skin, even after they're gone. Um, most of them will fade, though if you have an ag aggressive form and it's not treated correctly, it can leave you with scars like this, which means it's important to treat them before it gets out of control, which leads me to my next point, how to clear and prevent acne. Acne can oftentimes be treated and cured. And an article from WikiHow explains that mild forms of it can be treated with over-the-counter medications like salicylic acid, a product made to help unclog pores, or benzoyl peroxide, a product made to help kill the bacteria on your skin that causes acne. If you have a more aggressive form of acne, though, you may want to see a skin doctor called a dermatologist. Dermatologists will recommend or excuse me, will prescribe medications mm -hmm. uh, as they see fit. Some of them are uh, 
alpha hydroxy acids, retinoids, and antibiotics, or a mixture of them as they see fit. Most of these prescription medications are used for a short period of time, and so uh, routine maintenance is needed to prevent acne and keep it at bay. A good start to a preventative routine is to wash your face with a mild cleanser twice daily and use a moisturizer. It's also helpful if you remember to change your sheets often and use a clean towel after you shower to halt the growth of acne-causing bacteria. Preventing from touching your face so that oils from your hands won't clog your pores is also a great way to prevent acne. To prevent, to prevent scars from forming and, um, and to treat them, Proactive.com claims that you should never try to pop them and that wearing sunscreen and eating a healthy diet are the best ways to help your skin turn back to normal. So yes, acne is a problem most of us, most people have, but knowing a little about it can help you a lot. So that's why today I covered how acne forms, the different types, and how you can cure and prevent it. So just remember, when you have that big embarrassing pimple on your forehead the day of prom, not to worry, there is a cure, and most likely nobody cares about it anyway.